So many of you know that I am a huge believer in Bucky Fuller's sentiment that you don't fight the existing system, you build a new one that renders it obsolete. However, I, I have come to understand that science remains a tool for communication around possibility. And I have dedicated myself to publishing history-making science around the potential that lifestyle medicine has to render medical outcomes that are otherwise not possible, let alone uh, with the safety profile and the uh, affordability of lifestyle medicine interventions, chiefly those that don't require supplementation or any special kind of doctor um, and that are administered by oneself. So when Dr. Rob Abbott approached me to initiate a randomized control trial of the Vital Mind Reset protocol, I thought, okay, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting and this is the universe speaking to me about the importance of this kind of data. And fast forward um, through many hours of his and a, um, a team of clinical volunteers, uh, time, attention, energy, and effort, um, and 72 different participants, and we were floored uh, by the outcome which of course on some level isn't surprising because we've seen you know, these pixelated case reports. We have a published case series on many different diagnoses, um, anything from fibromyalgia to bipolar disorder. Uh, we have schizophrenia outcomes. We have uh, Graves' disease outcomes, lupus. Uh, this study looked at the uh, impact of the Vital Mind Reset Protocol over 44 days on uh, moderate uh, depression. And we were thrilled to note that in that space of, of time, the participants experienced uh, more than a 50% um, improvement in their symptoms. And that chiefly it was their quality of life that improved and specifically what they characterized as their mental health. And I believe that a huge part of the alchemy is that they took the wheel of their car and started to learn how to drive it. And I, I do believe that there is not a more important time for this kind of self-reclamation potential to, uh, to spread among us because we know that our uh, sovereignty is under siege. And what we may not know is that the process of self-ownership can begin with learning how to take care of yourself and learning how to melt away a lot of the illusory assumptions around your brain being broken and your body being damaged and this being some inherited disorder you're gonna to have to deal with for life. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy checking out the results and I hope that you can spread the word so that people know that there is an option. This is, to my uh, awareness, only the second um, randomized trial of its type in history um, for lifestyle medicine interventions around a, a chronic illness, so or what we're calling a chronic illness. So I'm, I'm very inspired myself and really privileged to have had the opportunity to work with this team to bring you this groundbreaking scientific information.